Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Welcome back to the madness that is X6100 hacking. This one comes to us from France. Foxtrot 4 Hotel Golf Alpha shares with us a tip about how to get the battery management system information out of your X6100. Most radios, when you connect to them, have two serial ports, and who knows why. The X6100 is no different. The 705 has it. The FT891 from Yezu has it. So apparently it's across all brands, all manufacturers. Now we know something to do with that second serial port on this radio. First thing you're going to want to do is turn your radio on and go over and make sure that the charger itself is turned on. After you have that set, go ahead and turn the radio off plug the external power cord in, and then into the dev port, plug your USB cable that you'd use to connect to FT8 or data modes, or do some hacking like we like to do with this radio. Let's get over to a terminal and see what it looks like in the terminal. Okay, so first thing we need to do is determine the serial port. So if we run dmessage, we'll see at the very end that a new device has been found, and it is all of this wonderful stuff here. So C Media Electronics looks like a sound device and then a couple of serial ports, ACM0, ACM1, and it's gonna actually be the second serial port this time, which is different than normal. It's gonna be the ACM1 port. And we need to set up the serial port for how we wanna communicate with it. STTY space dash F for, this is the file that we wanna choose. Everything in Linux is a file descriptor. And we want slash dev slash TTY ACM1. And we want to set it for CS8, which is 8 bits. And then we're going to do dash per NB, which is to turn Perry on. And these are the same settings you'd use for the other serial port if you wanted to connect to the Linux console when the radio is running. And when you press enter on that, if everything was successful, you should get nothing in return because it did the right thing and there's nothing to complain about. That's kind of the way Linux works. Okay, next up, we want to actually connect to that device. So we want to do screen, which is a really lightweight terminal emulation program and also a way to, well, you guys know what screen does, dev slash tty acm1 and then a speed of 115 200. And check that out. What we can see is the battery voltage of the battery inside of the x6100. It is 8300 and change, 8400 rounding up millivolts and the battery charging status is 3,121.5 milliamp hours, and it is 100% full in all caps. And the radio is currently off, as you saw, which is pretty interesting that it's actually, because it's plugged into the wall socket, it's actually on a live, running enough services to spit information out the serial port at us. So this is something cool that you can do. To exit out of this, hit Control A on your keyboard, press the letter D to detach, and screen is still running in the background, but that's one way to to break out of it. And then if you really want to be precise, we need to kill screen. Kill all screen. And now there's no more screen running. Pretty neat little trick. Pretty cool what you can do with this radio. Thanks for sharing this with us, Gus. Foxtrot 4 Hotel Golf Alpha. And if there's any other things you guys figure out, head over to Toad's Discord. There's a link in the description down below. We talk about hacking this thing all day long and lots and lots of progress has been made. There'll be more videos on that coming up soon, but for now, there's a video right here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome. I'll see you over there.